So the next topic we're going to discuss is epilepsy. Epilepsy is caused by abnormal electrical activity in the brain. There is no cure for epilepsy. What they can try and do is manage it. So what would happen if you walked into the room now, this person is collapsed on the floor, he's having a seizure through epilepsy, what's the first thing that you do any situation that you walk into, what are you looking for? Danger. So what is the danger? Have a couple of seconds to think. What would be your natural reaction to do? Remove the source of the danger. So take the chair away. But what if the chair was bolted to the floor? How could you make that area safe? use padding, put padding round. So if you cannot remove the source of the danger, use padding, blankets, clothes, pillars, anything like that. Just make it as safe as possible. Now, in a normal generalized seizure, you have what we call a tonic-clonic recovery phase. The tonic is where the patient suddenly goes rigid, the clonic where he starts shaking, and the recovery when the shaking stops and you then monitor the patient. So you've removed the cause of any danger, the chair, or use the pattern. What can you safely do now while the seizure is running its course? Remove any clothing, anything like that. Tight clothing, but don't put your hands anywhere near the mouth. You've got to let the seizure run its course. So hopefully as you're timing the seizure, it goes into the recovery phase. What are you then going to do now? What's the danger of leaving somebody unconscious on the back like that? Yeah, he could swallow his tongue or vomit. So, when the shaking stops, the clonic phase, recovery phase, put him into the recovery position like that. And monitor. Now, as we previously discussed where on the scale of level levels of response will this patient be he'll be at the bottom remember AVPU he'll be unconscious he will need time to recover so as he's recovering keep monitoring keep talking to him ambulance doesn't come after five minutes and he starts grunting after 10 minutes still no ambulance he looks up and says who are you What's happened with his levels of response? From being unresponsive, he's come up the scale, he's now responding to your voice. So you've done your three Ps. So once you measure the levels of response and any changes, when does this person need to go to hospital? There's three occasions. How long do you think a normal seizure lasts? Two to three minutes. So if the seizure lasts for longer than five minutes or more, they need to go to hospital. If there's no recovery phase, so in other words, he's going through the clonic phase, he's shaking and he slows down and you think, thank goodness he's coming out of it and he suddenly goes into another one, he needs to go to hospital. It used to be called status epileptic, epilepticus, they now call it cluster seizures. All it means there's no recovery phase in between. And the other one, when they need to go to hospital, have a think about it. Especially in your workforce, you don't know what your workers suffer from medical wise. If they've never had a seizure before, they must go to hospital.